in this lecture, we're going to continue setting up the Magic Leap Lumin SDK. So you should have the install sign next to it. And I want you to click on open folder. Why? Because we want to see where it is. And here we are. Now, inside of this, you should see a few folders. The one we're interested with is the virtual device. Now, it's very important that you start the virtual device before using Unity because whenever you're going to create a Magic Leap project with Unity, it's going to look for this simulator or virtual device. So double click on the virtual device and go to the bin folder, the very first one, and locate the UI front end. Then double click on it and launch the Magic Leap remote. If you're on Mac, this is called just Magic Leap remote. And if you're on Windows, it's magicleapremote.exe. Right, so double click on it. And it's about to launch it. All right, here it is. Now, what you want to do, if you already have a device, which I'm, I doubt you have it, depending on whether you are watching these lectures. If not, don't worry, just click on Start Simulator. Once you do this, this may take a few minutes and you should see a bunch of different statuses that are going to turn green here for the audio, stereo, and so on. Here we go. All right, so this is the actual simulator. And as you can see, it recognizes the virtual room, the simulator, and the peripherals. So we have that launch. That's one good step. Now, the next step is to open Unity. So go ahead and locate Unity and launch it. All right? Now, the version of Unity that you want to launch is the version that has the um, Magic Leap SDK. So make sure that in the title it says MLTP1. Now, we're in early 2018, so we need that. If you're watching this video later on, you may not need that because it may be part of the regular Unity downloads. Having said that, let's go ahead and create a new project. Uh, click on the plus for new. By the way, you're going to need to create an account and I'm sure you can just register right there if you've never used that before. All right, so I'm going to give you the name and say my Magic Leap project and I'm going to select the Magic Leap template. That's the most important step. All right, and uh, the rest, you know, wherever you want to save it, that's up to you at this point and click on create project. Okay, this may 